So we're going to demonstrate the fabrication of the trigger finger splint. So we use the splint for um, patients that have trigger finger of the index to small finger. What it does is keep the metacarpal phalangeal joint blocked in full extension. So that's the only joint that is, is blocked with the splint. You can still move you know, the, the PIP, DIP, and the wrist. Limiting MP flexion, what we're trying to do is reduce the number of triggers that a patient experiences. So remember every time that FDS tendon, the flexor digitorum superficialis tendon, goes through the A1 pulley, which is at the base of the, the digit, every time it passes through that canal of the A1 pulley, it creates a little bit more friction. So it's like getting rug burned. Um, and if that's continuously happening, the um, the tendon gets more and more inflamed. So the purpose of the splint is really to calm that down. So the splint design is pretty similar for the um, index through small finger. You just move, move the pattern over to, to um, fit those fingers. Thumb, we, we generally use um, an oval eight splint. So it just goes over the, the IP joint of the thumb uh, just to block that in full extension. Um, some people don't really tolerate this, this material, the hard thermoplastic. So there are options to um, buy neoprene trigger finger splints online. The only issue with those splints is they are soft, so they don't block that trigger as well. They, the MP joint can go into flexion pretty easily. So here's the splint design for the trigger finger splint. Uh, just make sure that the the top portion of the trough or the distal portion of the trough is below, well below the PIP joint, just because you don't want to have any unnecessary impingement of that joint. We're going to do the middle finger here to try to keep keep this as straight as you can. Yeah, just like that. Okay, so th this part goes around the proximal phalanx here. You see the thenar crease here, so we're just gonna make a line here to cut through that. And also know the palmar crease is right there. Um, and we're gonna cut through that too. All right, let's try this on again. Okay. So here we have good clearance with the palmar crease, thenar crease. Um, can you bend down your fingers like that? Okay, good. So, so the, the metacarpal is blocked PIP is fully free. Might bring that down a little bit more here. Um, but the PIP joint is completely free to bend. So that's good. Okay, so for the Velcro placement for splint, um, we just have one strap that goes across the front that you can you know, strap on, strap off. Um, some, some, some people like to have an extra strap just on either side uh, of the, the splint as well. Um, but you have a lot of issues with, with that rubbing on, on the sides of the finger. A lot of times it can be a little bit sensitive on either side of the finger there. So having a piece of Velcro can be a little bit irritating to the skin. Um, so just kind of based on patient's preference. All right. Thanks for watching guys. I hope you enjoyed and found this information useful. Please let me know what you thought. Thanks.